Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today, if you're looking for a great way to identify duplicate rows in your data and be able to get to those specific rows, you'll want to watch this episode because I'm going to show you how to do that using a couple of techniques in SQL, but namely, we're going to use a window function called row number to really help us get to the core of the matter. So let's get started with this and we will start with this first table where we're going to try to find duplicates of um, sales order headers where we have the order date, the territory ID, and the account number. So when I run this, you're going to see a whole bunch of rows and they all look different, but there's actually duplicate dates, territories, and account numbers in here. So how could I start to find out what these are? Well, one thing I could do is use a window function which um, I go over in my blog and I can actually get and count um, the duplicates. So I'm going to use what's called row number here. And let's just type this in. I'll say um, row number and then I'm going to now um, type in like what do I want to do my row number over because it's going to calc it's basically going to return for a block of rows like I'm row one I'm row two I'm row three so that block is called a partition and to do that we start with an over clause to signal we're working with a window function so I can say partition by and here I'll say order date and then I'll say territory ID and then account number because I want to find duplicates in all three of these okay and then I think it wants an order by so I'm gonna have to say order by and then we'll just say order date so now when I run and then we'll just call this row num so we know what we we have an alias for it when I run this you're gonna see a whole bunch of row nums that are one and what that means is that's the first row that the system found for a unique triplet of order date, territory ID, and account number. So maybe somewhere working in our result is a row here that has a row num of two, which would be like the second row. And guess what that is? That's one of the duplicates. So let's see if we could try to identify that. So I think one thing that people would try to do now that they've done all this hard work with the window function is to add a where clause. And let's just clean this up a little bit so it looks a little nicer. And then I would say something like maybe like where, and then I could say row number. And let's say greater than one, because that might find the duplicates for us, right? So when I run this, it'll say window functions can only appear in the selector order class. Well, that's a bummer. Well, let's try just the row num, right? Because we did alias it, and it doesn't really look like a window function. So let's try that. And that doesn't work either. So what can we do to make this work? So what we can do to get around this limitation is take our original query and we can wrap it in what's called a drive table and then based on that we'll be able to see the row number as um, truly as a column and and then be able to do some operations off that so let me show you what that would look like I can say like select star and then say from and this is the drive table part that I'm creating right here where I put it inside of um, parentheses uh, some people will call this a subquery. I think in this specific case, calling a drive table is uh, more accurate. When you do a drive table, you have to give it a alias, and I have done that. Now let me run this, and if you look at the results here, um, you should see where pretty much I get the same rows and the row numbers. So now let's go in and find the row numbers that are equal to 2. And how I can do that is just like where and I can say d dot row number is greater than 1. Okay, And this will find the duplicate rows. 
and I run that, you'll see who I have now the duplicate rows. Now what's cool about this is that notice that I now have um, the sales order ID as part of my result. And I know what the duplicate row is. So I added sales order ID to my query. So unlike a group by statement with a having that could identify duplicates, I'm able to get the um, actual row where this um, duplicate lies. So if I wanted to go in and delete this, I could, because I could use this primary key now to identify the row and then actually delete it out of the record set. So that's pretty awesome. So if you like what you've seen and you want to learn more about ways you can combine SQL features together to get over some limitations, you'll definitely want to check out my course, Furious SQL. It will introduce you to intermediate SQL and take you from intermediate SQL to advanced SQL and go through all the cool topics. So definitely check that out. It's on my blog, EssentialSQL.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video that really helps us out a lot and i totally appreciate you watching my video um, and i like the comments everybody re i receive from ready they uh, make my day so hopefully you have a great day yourself and um, i look forward to getting you another video here in the near future bye